40 on the petition of John and Judith Doherty and at least 25 Hampton registered voters shall the town of Hampton vote to remove deed restriction number four relating to allowing only one single family dwelling to be placed on the lot. This request is for the limited purpose of allowing these owners of two seasonal dwellings at 3 Toppin Street, Hampton tax map number 132, lot number 7, to replace one existing and failing seasonal dwelling with a properly built year-round dwelling such that the owners can then relocate and retire to the town of Hampton. The new dwelling will meet all local building and zoning codes. There are currently two dwellings on said lot. Further to authorize and direct the selectmen to execute, deliver, and record notice of this vote at the Rockingham County Registry of Deeds at no extra cost to the town. Majority vote required. Uh, motion to open discussion on Article 40. Can I get a motion to get this on the floor? Petition is here. I'm happy to second him. Uh, yes. Yes, he is here. Uh, so I will be happy to second. He's not a Hampton resident. So oh, he is not. Can... I'm sorry. Then I'll be happy to move. Moved by Ms. Question. Wolsey, seconded by Mr. Waddell. Mr. Doherty, would you like to speak to Article 40? <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, as a bit of housekeeping, I have an amendment to the okay. article. May okay. I have permission to uh, yes. do that? Okay. Uh, the article describes 3 Toppin Street as Hampton tax member map number 132, lot number 7. The updated uh, map and tax and lot number are map number 134, 134, and lot number 86, 86. So Mr. Bridles made the motion to uh, update the, uh, the map, uh, the tax map and lot number. Do I have a second on that? Seconded by Ms. Woolsey. Um, housekeeping matter, all those in favor of uh, that amendment? Raise your voter card. Down cards, all opposed. All right, so we've we've amended that um, article. Yes. I just uh, ask a question of clarification for uh, the gentleman while he's here. Yeah. Uh, the restriction number four that you're talking about in your deed actually has two sentences. Uh, the second sentence says, "No commercial use shall be made of the premises except that which is in existence on the execution of this deed." I think you're not intending to remove that restriction, are you? It's just the first sentence that talks about the only structures permitted? That's correct. Does that mean we have to... Uh, could, could you just insert the words to, remer uh, to remove the first sentence of deed restriction number four? So he's trying to make sure you're not going to try to operate some commercial... Like stand or something. Yeah, so... So we yeah. would remove just the first sentence of deed. And the first sentence is the one that deals with the two yes. dwellings. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm good with You're that. You're okay with that? So if I can get Mr. Bridal is going to make that amendment, seconded by Ms. Woolsey. All those in favor of clarifying the limited nature of the deed restriction release sought? Down cards? Any opposed? All right, Mr. Doherty. I think we got through the housekeeping, so All right. on to the... To the substance. Thank you. Uh, again, my name is John Doherty. My wife Judy and I are the owners of 3 Toppin Street in Hampton. Thank you for the opportunity to speak on behalf of our petition. We are asking Hampton voters to vote yes on this article. The article requests that be, we be permitted to remove restriction number four from our deed, or I should say the first sentence of restriction number four. This restriction relates to allowing only one single family dwelling to be placed in the lot. Deed restriction number four prevents us from creating a building plan and from approaching the town building department with this plan. Therefore, we request it would be removed. There are two seasonal dwellings located on the property. Those structures have been there for well over 50 years. We wish to replace one of these uh, failing cottages with a brand new year-round home, properly and efficiently built according to local building code. In so doing, we can realize our dream of relocating full-time year-round to the beautiful town of Hampton. Restriction number four is archaic and helps not one person in the town of Hampton. Uh, as I stated, there are already two dwellings on the lot. Having two dwellings on one lot is not unusual in Hampton. There's an example right across the street from our property. Both of those homes have been significantly renovated over the years with town approval. Two current projects are underway very similar to our request, one on Mill Road and one on Ocean Boulevard. Constructing a proper efficient structure in this spot is a win-win proposal. First, it obviously helps us, since we're the ones making the request. Also, it helps the neighborhood. Many of our neighbors signed the petition, and I also have a written statement from many of the closest neighbors nearby in support of what we would like to do. 
Um, our neighbors realize if we upgrade our property, it certainly adds value to theirs. Lastly, it helps the town. In utilizing proper construction practice, we bring the building fully up to current code, proper building standards. Also, since our property will, property will most certainly be reassessed following construction, we'll be paying more in taxes. In closing, I wish to thank all the voters who signed our petition, especially many of our neighbors who showed their support. We hope that folks will turn out for the election and please vote yes on Article 40. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dari. Yes, sir. Bill McLaughlin, 29 Hampton Town Estates. Mr. Moderator, fellow residents, I speak in favor of Article 40. I have known Mr. Doherty for close to 50 years. He is a man of high ethical standards, and if this is granted, this variance, as he did state, it will allow John and his wife to build a year-round home here in Hampton. They will then become as I like to say, wonderful full-time additions to our community. And no one is a loser in this, and we're all winners, and so isn't the tax base. Vote for Flotty. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McLaughlin. Mr. Collins. Hi, Pat Collins, Board's Head. Uh, I too know Mr. Darty, although being substantially younger than both of the gentlemen who preceded me, I can't say it's for 50 years. Uh, but seriously, uh, I know Mr. Dirty, I'm very familiar with the neighborhood. Boys said, Place Cove, North Beach. Very special to all of us who are lucky enough to live there. I can tell you that Mr. Dirty is indeed uh, just a heck of a good guy. The neighbors support this completely. Mr. Dirty is not an out of town developer. Mr. Dirty is not going to put in a mega mansion 438 feet tall. What he does to the residents will help the neighbors. It will be done thoughtfully, intelligently, and with a concern of his neighbors in mind. So I would ask this board and all my neighbors at home, including Arthur Moody, my God, we miss you, sir, to support this at, uh, when it's time for your vote. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 40 uh, as it's been amended? <laughs> Seeing none. Article 40, as amended, will appear on the ballot. 